What's up guys, it's Chad here with G-Reviews, coming to you from my 2015 Toyota 4Runner. I just ran into a little problem here. Obviously if you clicked on this video, you probably are having the same problem. I'm obviously in park. Alright, the vehicle is running. Okay. And my Bluetooth and my phone connectivity are grayed out. Okay. Obviously... I can't connect my phone. It doesn't matter if I turn it on. If my wife's phone turns it on, normally it just automatically connects. But for some reason, uh, this right here is not working. All right, I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Um, there's two ways, but uh, we're going to cut the video and we're going to uh, finish it up. First way is to come over here and just cycle the power on the actual head unit. So you just hold down the power here on the left, it'll cycle through and it'll restart itself. Alright, as you can see that is my family there. Um, I did that, if you want to learn how to do that, so I'm going to put a, a link to the description below. Alright, but it's going to restart itself, coming back up. All right, everything looks all good. Again, did not work, okay? Still cannot connect anything via my phone or the Bluetooth. All right, the next thing is going to be more of a permanent solution. However, you're going to lose anything that is saved on this head unit. You're gonna pretty much do a factory reset. So that picture you saw is going to be deleted. Um, any radio stations are going to be deleted and your home address, all your addresses and your GPS are going to be, your navigation are going to be deleted, um, any preferences or anything like that. So keep that in mind. If you're going to do this next step, you're going to lose all your data. First thing is first, you're going to want to cycle the push button twice. So hit once, hit twice. All right, don't start the engine. Just let everything cycle up, power up, okay? All right, your next step, it's a little bit tricky. It's just something the engineers put into it. You're gonna to wanna to hold down apps. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to come over here and cycle the headlights three times. So on, off, on, off, on, off. I'm gonna cut the footage and show you the next screen that it comes up to after doing that uh, step. This is the next screen it comes to, okay? All you're gonna to wanna to do is come down here and the thing's already highlighted in red all the way to the left. It says I-N-I-T. Hold that down two seconds. Personal data is initialized, okay. You're gonna hit yes. Again, before you hit this yes, everything on this head unit is going to be factory reset slash deleted. So if you're okay with that, hit yes. All right, that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cycle the off. All right, and we're gonna start the vehicle back up. So let's hope it worked. Well, my picture's still there. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. We'll see. All right, well that's good right here. That little icon was not there before, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this worked. All right, well the Bluetooth audio icon has come back. That's also good. All right, let's go home. All right, check that out. Bluetooth and phone icons are now clickable okay so all right guys if you enjoyed my video and found it helpful please like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you